And this is my 2021 Ram 2500 Laramie Longhorn Limited Cummins Turbo, yada, yada, yada. No, no, I'm totally, I mean, it is mine, but I'm totally trying to impersonate Doug DeMera though. I love you, Doug DeMera. I'm just, I'm just screwing with you, man. Hey, I'm going to do something a little bit different today. Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuild. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to attempt to do an unboxing of my new 21 Ram 2500 Longhorn Limited Edition Cummins Turbo yada 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 let's, let's just jump into it right now so we'll start by taking a quick walk around it we'll do the remote start real quick i want you guys to see these beautiful led headlights uh, they don't come on until you what, unlock it there they are now it's got some nice daytime running lights right here but i think they won't come on until we actually start the truck so let's go inside you got those automatic running boards and let's turn the radio down. Let's go ahead and start it. Okay, now that we've actually pushed the start button, I think we should have some beautiful LED. There they are. LED daytime running lights right there. Yeah, absolutely gorgeous. Now, there's going to be a lot of questions from you guys, uh, and I understand a lot of questions. Obviously, most of you know this is in a whole different price range and a whole different league than the 2019 Ram 2500 that I had recently, which I traded in on this. We'll get to that later at the, uh, toward the end of the video, we'll talk about all the numbers and the reasons and all the stuff you guys have been asking about on Instagram and stuff. But for now, let's just take a quick look around it. It's a uh, beige. My other one was white, bright white. This is definitely a beige. And then it's got like a uh, kind of a golden brown color down here so it's two-tone there you go there's that limited edition longhorn and it's still got marks on the body i've, I've had uh, several people point these out like this right here it's like hey what is this at some kind of paint from the factory it just rubs right off it comes right off i think that's for pre-purchase inspection or something you'll see it over here on the gas door too it's got more marks back here by the windows down here up here uh there's a story to this truck and we'll get to that in just a minute as well. I just want to give you a quick walk around of it so you can see her in all of her glory. Four by four this time, instead of two wheel drive. I don't know what size the wheels are. Let's take a look, they're 20s. They are LT28560 20s. It is a magnificent truck. It is a beautiful truck, but at the end of the day, was it worth what I paid for it and did I make a good decision or a bad decision trading out my much lower model uh, Longhorn or Bighorn? This is a Longhorn, Bighorn. I traded my Bighorn, which I only owed, oh heck, I don't, I don't remember what I owed on it, but it wasn't nearly as much as I owe on this one. Let's take a look at those running boards again. They come out to greet you. Uh, I have left most of the factory stuff on except for the stuff that I had to take off to drive it. Like we had bags over the seats. The steering wheel had this weird foam stuff wrapped all around it. This door handle had plastic all over it. But I left this and I left this and I didn't pull out the floor mats yet. The floor mats are still in their bags right here. Uh, as you can see, they're brand new. I definitely want to get those open. We still got a little bit of a, a baggage situation going on on the headrest there. It is a, a beautiful, this is non-functional, it does absolutely nothing, but you do have a pocket up there. Uh, as you can see, we still have the, this, this truck never made it to PPI. It never made it to PPI. It was a fresh delivery right off the truck. And I, I wasn't gonna buy it. I really wasn't gonna buy it but I fell for it and I couldn't, I just couldn't help it. I couldn't help it. Um, I took it for a drive and I was like, I gotta have this. It's got the Harman Kardon. All right, you got that big sub right there. So you lose a little bit of a uh, utility space because of that. I didn't even know it had that. You got surround sound speakers up in the roof over there. Gold trim across the whole interior. I mean, they gold trim, gold trim. You got that alligator look right here. The wood throughout the truck is real. This is not simulated wood. This is real wood. More of the stickers there, your airbag stuff. You got nice little, uh, little engravings there. Nice little details. I don't know if you guys can even see that. 
but there's a lot of fine details in this. Of course, you've got the giant screen right there. I mean, that screen is huge. You've got uh, QI wireless charging. You've got all the USB ports, AC, auxiliary ports. Uh, you've got 110 power outlet in there, power seats all the way, power seats all the way. Of course, we got the sunroof over there. You've got all of these, uh, yeah, just buttons everywhere for the power sliding rear window and the power sunroof, tilt, slide, all of that good stuff. You still have the wonderful 6.7 liter Cummins turbo diesel that we had in the last one. The difference is this one now has 50 miles on it. It had four miles when I bought it. And mine, oh, sorry, this has 60 miles on it now. But my Cummins that I traded in, uh, it had 42,000 miles on it as well. You got this really cool rear view mirror. What's cool about it? It's just a rear view mirror, right? Wrong. Look at that. You can leave it if you want as a, an entire camera that shows the back end of your truck or you can flip it down and turn it back to a mirror again very cool you've got so many options on this screen here guys it, this thing's got park assist it's got bird's eye view it's got lane departure warning it's got collision avoidance it's got adaptive cruise control it's got heated and cooled seats front and back it's got uh two-wheel drive four-wheel drive obviously it's two-wheel drive unless you need four by four then you can uh, select on the fly uh four high four low i don't i don't think you can select that on the fly but you can definitely switch between between two wheel drive and four wheel drive high on the fly. Lots of button here. This will be for your uh, adaptive cruise right there. This will be the distance that you want it to follow behind the car in front of you. This is your regular cruise. You've got your gear limiter in case you don't want it to, uh, you know, go up another gear. All your controls for switching things on the display right here. I mean, the, the, this truck is just ridiculously loaded, guys. It's yeah okay anyway averaging 16.4 miles a gallon driver assist there's your off-road screen and you've got all of this stuff uh on the main screen over here as well i think it's under uh, i mean you've got your controls so you can see your heated vented heated wheel cargo cam backup cam surround this is actually a really cool view right here where you can see behind you and you've got your bird's eye view which i have to close my door there you go. Now you've got your full 360 degree bird's eye view. Makes parking easy. Uh, definitely great with a trailer too. It's got, I mean, it's got everything, guys. You, you, you've probably seen this before. You can manually deploy your steps. Why you would want to do that, I'm not entirely sure. You've got your apps. Travel link. This is a nice feature right here because you've got local fuel prices. You've got weather. There's all your fuel prices and everything right there. Um, local weather if you need it obviously it's got wi-fi hot so basically what i'm trying to tell you is the truck has every damn thing you could imagine except i haven't found massaging seats i don't think this truck came with massaging seats but other than massaging seats this truck came with pretty much everything so what i wanted to do is i wanted to kind of unbox this with you guys so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to uh, i'm going to actually turn off the climate control real quick because i don't need it there we go. Let's get out of there. Go back to the home screen. Um, this is a big deal. So I'm going to be very quiet here and I'm going to peel. Let me shut the truck off. There we go. I'm going to peel the sticker off. Let's listen. Right. Oh, oh, oh. oh man. I had to do that with you guys. I had to do that with you. So that's what we're going to get into now is we're going to peel the damn stickers off. We're going to pull this crap off the floor. Does this just come off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's something real satisfying about that. Real satisfying about that. Let's get this. Can we get this? Uh... Boy, this blue stuff doesn't look like it's going to want to come off too easy. Let's see. Here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I like that. Let's peel. Let's find more crap to peel off, man. And then we'll break out the floor mats and uh, we'll put those down. Let's see if I can grab this here. Here we go. 
Oh, isn't that sound satisfying? Let's get this too. <laughs> I should do, what is that stuff called where you can hear people like eating? I've seen it before, but I can't remember. ASFM or AFMS or ASPS, ASPC. I don't know what the hell it is. Oh man, it's nice peeling all the stickers off your new car. It really is. All right, let's see what else we got. There are some little stickers on the wheels here. Um, it just says peel here. Okay. I'm not going to make you guys watch me peel the rest of the stickers. We'll peel one more though on camera. There's nothing really phenomenally exciting about that. There we go. All right. Let's see what else we got back here. Uh, more of this. Yep. All right. Done. And whoever thought there'd be an unboxing video of a car. You know what I mean? I would, I never, I just thought of this day. I was like, man, uh, and I'm doing it in 4k. So if you really want to get the full experience, make sure you're watching it in 4k. All right. It leaves one more door right here. Yep. And this one right here. Come on, old girl. You're coming off today. You're coming off. This is it. It's official now. Uh-oh, it's not coming off, it's sticking. It wants to be a pain, there we go. There we go. And then of course we've got the glove box sticker there. And that's official, I think that's everything. Except for this, I'll probably cut that off later. I'll probably cut that off later too. I don't really wanna mess with that right now. So now I think we can break out the floor mats and let's see what she looks like with the floor mats installed in the truck. And then we'll go over the price. As you can see, I bought it uh, 431, right? Or 531. Yeah, I bought it 431. Yeah, bought it 531 at David Stanley Chrysler Jeep, of course. These guys have been taking good care of me for a while now. And uh, it's a 21 Ram 2500. Name of purchaser is, you know, me. I love this gold everywhere, guys. This gold is amazing. And I'll tell you something else I think is really cool about this gold. Take a look at today's sponsor, Ridge. All right, Ridge. This is 18 karat gold plated. And I mean, it just fits all the gold in this truck, including the gold on the key that says Ram Longhorn on it as well. This is my new favorite wall. It's sent to me by Ridge. So shout out to Ridge. I'm going to have a link down below. It's not too late for Father's Day presents, guys. You're running out of time, though, so I highly recommend if you're going to grab one of these, do it now. Again, this is the 18 karat gold. They've got over 30 different flavors of these walls. So I mean by flavors, different, different colors, different designs, different styles, clips, band for your money. You got all your cards right here. Look at that. Boom. It just slides, man. Lifetime warranty. One wallet for life. I mean, I can't live with one wallet for life, but I have yet to have a wallet break on me, and I use the living heck out of these. These things are great. Minimalistic RFID blocking, so people can't pickpocket you electronically. Lifetime warranty, like I said, if it breaks, send it back, they'll give you a new one. And if that's not good enough, how about this? Try it before you actually buy it, right? 45 days test drive. If you don't like it, send it back for a full refund. You got 45 days, are you serious? Like you'll know in 45 days if you can deal with this wallet or not. And a lot of people think when they first see it, they're like, I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that. I couldn't fumble for my cards. I'm telling you, once you get the hang of it, it's like anything new. It's different. It's unique. It's something new. If you haven't used it before, it takes a little getting used to. That's why they're going to give you 45 days to figure it out. Listen, guys, they've got over 40,000 five-star reviews, okay? The numbers don't lie. They're offering you guys, my audience, a special discount, 10% off if you go to www.ridge.com slash AAR. Use code AAR for 10% off. Get it today, guys. I don't promote anything on this channel that I don't use and that I don't believe in. And I want to thank Ridge for continuing to be a sponsor of our videos. Now, Let's get back to the truck. All right, so where were we? We were cutting open this bag, right? Let me see if I can do this. Ugh, wow. Boy, I'll tell you what, man. If these mats are as tough as the plastic they put them in, oh, we're going to be set. We're going to be set. Uh, looks like they've got these mats kind of folded up here. 
Oh, this is nice. Look at this carpeting that's like riveted in. They've got they've got the carpet like riveted in here. Does it? Oh, it snaps. Oh wow. Okay. All right, Ram. I'm feeling this. I'm liking this. This is like the Cadillac of trucks, man. I'm telling you. Uh, wait till I tell you how much I paid for it. I'm not sure if you guys are going to think I'm crazy or if you're going to be like, yeah, man, I get it. Absolutely. I would have done the same thing because you're not going to believe me when I tell you that uh, they actually gave me. <laughs> well, we'll tell you in a minute. We'll talk numbers in a minute. We'll talk numbers in a minute. I don't, but I, I, don't, I don't think you're going to believe it, though. I've already seen people on Instagram telling me it's not possible. There's no way you got that good of a deal. And I'm like, that's fine. You don't have to believe it. It doesn't make it any less real. Like if I told you that air is real and you told me, no, it's not. Um, I'm not going to argue with you. You know, air is real. And just because you can't see it, you don't understand it. Uh, it doesn't make it any less real. All right, let's throw all this up here. Let's get this one in and then we'll put that big, big one in there. These floor mats are really nice. Like these are everything about this truck is like a level up from the big horn that I had. Um, and I swore a long time ago I would never buy a truck like this. Uh, I swore I wouldn't. I said I wasn't gonna be that guy that goes and buys some ridiculous truck with all these ridiculous features and options that nobody needs. Nobody needs this much crap in a pickup truck, okay? And here I am, I just freaking bought one. Damn it, Randy. What are you doing? Boy, this is, wow. Okay, this one's a little, uh, this is a little difficult to do. I should have brought a tripod or something out here, huh? Let's see if we can get this shoved down in there. So far, so good. We still got our storage compartments down here for my towing stuff. I like to keep all my towing stuff buried down there. It's getting humid out here, guys. It's getting it's getting a little warm. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We just run into a problem. Sorry guys, I had to put you down, man, but look at look at these floor mats. Not that there's really anything to be impressed by when it comes to floor mats, but like these are some quality floor mats, man. Uh and all that wood and look, you've got your power outlet right here too. Another 400 water. You've got your heated seats back here. You've got all your USBs. And as if that's not enough, <laughs> it just doesn't stop with this truck. All right. Oh, oh, I forgot about this. Look, we got chrome back here. Hold on. We got to peel this. There we go. Oh, yes. Yes. Soft open. It looks like it's already set up for a fifth wheel and for a gooseneck. And you got your 400 watt power right there in the cargo area. Seven pin, four pin right there as well. It's already it's already got a, a bed liner. It's already rhino line. So I don't have to do that. It's already got running boards. I don't have to do that. The only thing I have to put into this truck that it doesn't have is a Tanu cover. That's it. That's it. You've got your hitch right here. You got your seven pin right here. You got another four pin right there as well. She's, this thing is decked out, man decked out and make sure we got everything off the doors here yeah i think she's good all right so i know everybody's wondering how much was it because right now trucks are well at least in oklahoma i can't speak for everywhere else but in oklahoma trucks are non-existent when i went to the lot uh i'm gonna tell you right now they didn't have anything on the lot that i was interested in buying nothing um they had a couple 3500s they had a few 1500s, and that was it. This truck right here, as I told you earlier, this was brand new inventory that hadn't even been through pre-purchase inspection yet, hadn't made it into PPI, where they go over the truck, check inventory, make sure all the panels line up, wheels, tire. It hadn't even been through any of that. It had been offloaded from the truck, and it had been put in the back, sitting with a couple other trucks. And this was the only truck like this that they had back there at all on the entire lot and they've got like three locations this was the only one like this that they had so i guess when it comes to numbers the first thing you guys really want to know is how much was it well this truck had a base price of sixty thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars okay and by the time it was done the price was eighty two thousand eight hundred and ten dollars 
Yes, 82000 Eight hundred and ten dollars. There, there, there's your list of options. It's in 4K, so you could probably just like pause the video, and you should be able to to kind of read through everything if you want to. Five year, one hundred thousand mile powertrain warranty. This thing is amazing. So I know you're thinking, wow, eighty two thousand dollars plus the dock fee of like five ninety nine. This truck was eighty three grand, just oh, just a hair over eighty three thousand dollars. Was it worth it? Well, I suppose that really depends on on you, and it depends on me. Do I feel it was worth it? Oh, oh, yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to tell you why I, I decided to buy this in a minute, because most of you are going to think I'm crazy. You're going to think I'm wasting money. I'm throwing money away. I've already seen the comments on Instagram. And believe it or not, I understand why you might feel that way. I do. For those of you that uh, are kind of obsessed with my finances, there's a lot of questions around some of the things I do, and I want to I want to go ahead and explain that because I, I I never really thought about it, but I guess the majority of people don't have their own businesses, and the majority of people don't understand tax deductions, write offs, and when you see me just throwing money away, it probably seems like I'm just being wasteful. I'm actually being very tactical. There's a there's a reason that I throw all this money away. I would rather throw money away on fun cars and things that I enjoy, rather than have to pay that money to the IRS and get nothing out of it. You know, once you hand over your taxes to the IRS, let me tell you something. When I started my taxes this year, I owed the IRS $83,000. Okay, that's for this year. This year, as I'm speaking to you right now, when I first plugged in how much I made from YouTube, $80,000 to the IRS and several thousand more, almost another $10,000 to the state of Oklahoma. Now, you can pay all that if you want to, or you can dump a ton of money into some fun toys, into some things that you can really enjoy, things that I can bring to the channel and have fun with you guys. I can show you guys things that we can actually use and enjoy on the channel, and then I can dump them. And sure, I can lose money on cars. In fact, I'll even divulge this information. I lost over $30,000 on cars last year. Not just my personal car sales through the dealership. Well, I guess that's not personal, but not just dealership cars, okay? The Hellcat, the Tesla, the C7 Corvette. I don't remember how many other cars I had last year, but I lost 30 grand in cars last year. And I know you're probably sitting there going, oh my God, you're going to go bankrupt. No, I'm not going to go bankrupt. I would have had to pay taxes on all of that to the government anyway, okay? And instead, I got to knock 30 grand off of my taxes because every one of those cars was used in videos. It was used for commercial purposes. And because of that, I got to deduct miles and I got to deduct the taxes off of them that I paid to the state to register the cars. I got to deduct the losses that I took when I sold the cars. So hopefully that clarifies things a little bit for you as to why I do this so often. It, it seems crazy, but in reality, there's a, a method to the madness. All right, so I don't know about where you're located, but here in Oklahoma, there's a truck shortage, all right? There's definitely a truck shortage on new trucks. There's a truck shortage on used trucks. So here's the deal. David Stanley called me on the phone and said, hey, we really need used vehicles. We see that you owe this much on your truck and we're interested in buying it back from you. And I was like, maybe, I'll think about it. I came in and I said, show me what you got. And they didn't have anything that I was interested in. And that's when they took me to the back to another lot across the street where they have their inventory that hasn't is not ready for sale yet and they showed me this one and i told him no way in hell i don't want it and the salesman was like just take it for a drive and i was like hey if you want me to drive your eighty thousand dollar truck i'm not going to say no i'll drive your eighty thousand dollar truck and his tactic worked i took it for a drive and i told my fiance i said babe if I got the credit to get this, you know, if the bank will loan me the money, it's a big loan. It's a big loan. Uh, and I was like, if the bank will loan me the money for this, let's do it as long as we can get a good interest rate. Well, I got an excellent interest rate and they came back and they said, are you ready to do the deal? And I said, that depends on how much you're going to give me for my Ram 2500, my 19. Uh, my 2019, I've had it for almost a year. I put 42,000 miles on it and I fully expected to lose money. I paid like forty-two dollars or $43,000 for that truck, brand new. It was a two-wheel drive, not 4x4. And for those of you wondering, why did I get 4x4 this time? As I said, this was like the only truck on the lot that I would buy, and it just happens to come with 4x4. I don't need it, didn't need it before, but now I have it because it just came with the truck, okay? So they told me that they would give me 
$49,000 for my truck that I paid 43. Think about that for a minute. That's six grand, six grand. Now, after a uh, dock fee and all that other stuff, we can, we can, we call it around, around $5,000 is what I made selling my used truck with 42,000 miles back to the same dealership that I bought it from. Now, full disclosure, I was a little bit upside down on the truck. Not too bad, about $8,000 upside down. I was upside down because I owed more on a vehicle that I traded. I don't remember what I traded in on the truck. Could have been the Corvette, who knows. Whatever it was, I owed a little bit more and they wrapped it up into the new loan. Well, because I was able to make so much money selling my used truck, I made more selling the truck than I paid for it. I made a profit. That doesn't happen. That doesn't happen. So what that just did is that just wiped out a good chunk of the negative equity that I had from the car before that truck. You can't lose, man. You, 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 this was a hell of a deal. It's one of those things that's like once in a lifetime. And the fact that they didn't mark this truck up, they could have probably marked this truck up five, six thousand dollars easy and still sold it like that. And they didn't do that. They charged me the price of the MSRP. They charged me like a five ninety nine dock fee, which is standard. I know some people are going to argue, don't ever pay a dock fee. Well, it's part of doing business where I'm at. All right. Uh, I didn't add anything to it. No warranties, no gap, no nothing. I just bought the truck and I got a hell of a deal. They put me through a good credit union and I am now the owner of an $83,000 truck and probably one of the very few people ever able to go back to the dealership they bought their car from and sell it to them for a profit over what they paid for it. Now, because this is a more expensive truck, obviously the payments are gonna be substantially higher every month, right? Wrong, not substantially. What I did is instead of 72 months, I did an 84 month loan on it. The loan, it's a good loan. The interest rate is a good interest rate that I'm happy with. No, it's not 10%. It's not even 6%. All right. I got a good interest rate on an 84 month loan and the payments are only $200 more a month than I was paying before. Keeps it manageable, keeps it well within my budget. And there is a reason I decided to go ahead and bite the bullet and buy this big expensive truck. And no, it wasn't to make one video on YouTube and hope that that video was going to pay for the truck because that's never going to happen. The reason I got this truck was because my other truck, the 2019 Ram, was actually going into service the next day. I was taking it to service the next day because Jessica and I plan on doing quite a bit of traveling this summer, driving all over the country. And the truck had 42,000 miles on it. It needed tires. It needed the oil and filter changed. It needed the fuel filters, multiple filters changed, the air filter, the cabin filter, the tires obviously need, we'll, you'd have to mount balance and all that crap with those too. Uh, the rear diff was gonna be serviced, trans was gonna be serviced, coolant was gonna be serviced. It was basically gonna be like $1,400, $1,500 just to get the truck serviced, plus the cost of tires, which is gonna be about another $600. All right, so instead of having to have all that service done, we just got a new truck. We just got a new truck with zero miles. I get to start from scratch. I get the full warranty all over again from scratch. We saved a ton of money on all of the maintenance costs that we were facing with that truck. So I figure what time is the best time to go and upgrade to something this ridiculous? Well, right now right now because dealers are offering ridiculous amounts of money for your trade-ins it's insane you can actually make a profit on it and this truck i got for a very fair price considering today's market and since jessica and i plan on taking a lot of trips and we're going to be doing a lot of traveling putting a lot of miles on our rear ends i figured this is the perfect opportunity to get something that's more comfortable newer that doesn't require any maintenance currently needs no services at all as something that we can just really sit in and enjoy. And honestly, guys, regardless of how you feel about it, I absolutely love this truck. I never thought that I would own one, but here we are. Today, we have a new workhorse on the channel. So how about we take her for a quick spin and then we've got a little something coming up for you on the channel. I bought another car. Uh, I bought a sports car. I bought a muscle car. And I bought it from Copart. 
I think you guys are gonna like it. So let's get on the road, talk a little bit about how it drives, and then we can take a look at what's coming in a future video for you guys. So one of the questions I got on my last Ram was, uh, is it comfortable to drive? Because obviously it's not, this is not a 1500 comfy truck. This is a work truck. It's a, it's a big truck. It's designed to haul loads. Well, I'll tell you something. This one is definitely more comfortable than my 2019 was um, because probably of the extra padding and the thicker seats and all of that stuff. This one is definitely more comfortable. One of the crazy things about it is you would think that the truck would be more uncomfortable when it was loaded down, but that is the exact opposite of what the truth really is. These trucks ride a little rougher when they're empty. But when you put a load behind them, even if it's not a heavy load, you can throw that uh, 20 foot trailer of mine behind it, throw a car on the back of it, and as it squats the back end down just a hair, it is a totally, totally different animal. It rides so much better when you put a load on the back end. Now, something I hadn't considered before I bought this truck is I can't tow with this. Um, there's a 500 mile break-in period, and it's not for the engine, it's for the rear differential. Um, I didn't think about this, which sucks, but I can't put a trailer or anything on this for uh, 440 miles. And then when I do put a load on it, I've gotta be ginger with it for another 500 miles after that, for a total break-in period of 1,000 miles. Of course, this truck has all the creature comforts that you could really imagine, more things than most people could ever think about even using, including myself, but it's nice to know that they're there. The truck is also supposed to have the ability to park itself. If you get yourself in a tight spot or a difficult situation, somewhere in this truck, there's supposed to be a button that allows you to push it, take your hands off the wheel, and the truck will park itself. I haven't found that button yet. I'm not even 100% sure that it exists, but I was told that it did, so it's probably here somewhere. It's also worth mentioning that the steering in this truck feels different. I don't know if something has changed in the steering between the 2019 and the 2021, but the steering feels totally different in this truck than it felt in the 2019. It actually feels a lot lighter and easier to maneuver. Not that that's really that big of a deal, it's just one of those things that I noticed. It's, it's actually very nice. The wood, the real wood all over the truck, even on the steering wheel, is very smooth on the wheel. It's very rough on the dash and everywhere else, but on the wheel it is super smooth and it feels very, very nice. Now I've had a lot of people on Instagram asking which engine this has. There are two versions of the 6.7 really they're the same motor i think the difference is only in tuning and in the transmission this truck unfortunately does not have the six seven high output which is like a thousand foot pounds of torque okay the six seven ho paired with the azen transmission is a monster i mean it is a freaking monster now i've had a lot of people asking me if this had the six seven ho but i don't think they put the high output engine in the 2500. It, it, I could have swore that the HO in the Azen transmission was only available in the 3500s. I don't think it's even an option in the 2500s. Now, with that said, how much, how much uh, torque does this thing have? Well, honestly, I don't know off the top of my head, but what I can say is that, uh, sorry, I've got a guy like riding me back there. What I can say is it's somewhere in the neighborhood of like 800 foot-pounds of torque and about 450 horsepower I think I'm sure some of you will correct me down in the comment section below but yeah it should be about 800 850 foot-pounds of torque and about 400 450 horsepower it's more than you will probably ever need from a three-quarter ton truck honestly unless you're doing something silly crazy ridiculous you don't need that much power but it's there just in case you want it. So I promised you a glimpse of an upcoming video and here it is. I don't want to give too much away because then you won't have any reason to watch the video, but there it is. Yes, you saw it. It is a Pontiac GTO. It's a goat and that's about all I'm going to tell you. Maybe I'll let you hear it run. You want to hear it run? 
All right, let's let's fire it up for you. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all you're gonna get. With that, I'm gonna get out of here because I gotta edit this video and get it up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Seriously, thank you all for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel as long as you have. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. I gotta give a shout out one more time to the Ridge Wallet, man. They have been longtime supporters of the channel. They continue coming back and helping to sustain the channel. I appreciate good quality products that I can promote to my audience. I really do. It means a lot to have support from a company not just as big as Ridge, but a company that stands behind their product that believes in quality just as much as I do. So definitely go check them out, www.ridge.com slash AAR. Use code AAR for 10% off your order. Direct links down below in the comment section and the description box below. Like the video if you enjoyed it, share it with your friends, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Auto Auction Rebuilds, and stay tuned, guys. I got more coming. Stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one.